Let's get stoked! Let's get stoked. Let's get stoked. It's an exciting time at St. Francis University. Just a couple weeks ago, our women's basketball team captured its 12th NEC championship, which also meant its 12th NCAA bid to the tournament. As many of you know, women's soccer and women's softball also captured Northeast Conference championships and NCAA bids this past year. Our softball team actually became the first program in school history to win an NCAA tournament game. These great achievements would not have happened without your collective support. What we're donating to uh, as an alumnus or friend of the university is the support that we can help these young student athletes uh, with scholarships and also for them to continue to excel in our athletic programs. It's also the ability for the university to keep uh, renovating and keep adding on to our facilities to help them uh, to compete at a, a higher level. Wolford, three, good! Andre Wolford, Willowick, Ohio. And, it uh, might be cold out there, yeah. but their native son is heating it up. Uh, when I got my scholarship, uh, I remember calling my mom and she was crying on the phone uh, just because, you know, she knew that it, it took a, a big load off of her um, and my sister, and I was going to have to I was gonna have to transfer if I didn't get my scholarship because we couldn't afford to come here. So having that, that money come in really helps kids like me who come in who love this place, who don't want to leave this place. I remember we were at Villanova and I scored my first collegiate goal. Donations are one of the most important things uh, for us. I think that being a Division I program, I want to be able to compete with other schools and the only way we can fully do that is uh, if we have the proper equipment and facilities. So donations are a big reason um, why St. Francis is the way it is. Well, my freshman and sophomore year, we played on a field that didn't even have a fence. We had to tear down orange fence that, you know, you'd fall over if you ran into it in the outfield and we had dirt and then every time it would rain you knew we weren't going to have a home game in Loretto so it was a swamp up there but then ever since the turf field was put in I know we've been completely grateful. I know that this fall we've only had to practice inside one time because it was constantly raining during that time and you're not going to practice in the rain but I know that we have had numerous amounts of home games we were able to host the NEC conference championship here last year even when it was raining so that was a it's a big improvement and it's a great thing for our school to be able to host such a tournament like that. There's people from all over the country who look here and want to come here and make this program better. There's a lot of new technology that have been coming out in the swimming world. There's better blocks, um, there's wedges for backstroke starts. We have what we need but we also have room for improvement to make our um, program better and match up with not just the NEC but also the Division One teams around the nation. We're not done yet. Many upgrades have already been completed. Between our softball complex that has had a new turf field, our soccer complex that also has a new turf field in the past couple years, and then this past fall we were able to build public restrooms for the first time down at DeGaulle Field. Now imagine new bleachers in De Gaulle Arena, lights at the softball complex, lights at the soccer complex where we could have night games. Imagine a new indoor multi-purpose field turf building where all of our outdoor sports could train in the, in the winter months. These upgrades would be game changers. I think a lot of people just haven't taken a look at this place in a while. You know, they may have graduated 15 or 20 years ago. They don't realize the success of the programs, how well they're all doing, uh, the number of students here that have a connection to athletics, uh, the fact that we're such a small Division I school yet very competitive is because 
of the support that the university gets from its alumni. Absolutely. I think there's been a very noticeable shift in the view of St. Francis because of the evolution of the facilities here in Loretto. Because you're providing the opportunity to improve facilities for all students. Student athletes benefit from it, but so do other students here on campus. It makes me proud to, to be an alumnus of the school, to donate to our athletic program and watch these uh, student athletes uh, excel on the athletic field and also excel in the, in the classroom. Each semester I'm surprised because we reach new marks every year with how many people are on the Dean's List, how many people on Provost, and how many people have 4.0s. Yeah, definitely. That's why I picked to come here. I felt like the minute I stepped on campus, everybody took being a student so seriously as well as being an athlete. I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. You guys have helped to change my life and course of my athletic career the last five years I've been here. And I know that a lot of the other teams as well appreciate that everything that you guys have done for us. And you guys have become those people for us and we truly appreciate it.